Rick Hoyle Mills reporting for No Fibs, that's Rick HM on Twitter, and with me today in Perth, all the way from Nui, is Daphne Pinya, and from Fiji, George Nathawa. These guys are climate warriors, and they have travelled all the way to Australia to ra raise our awareness of issues surrounding climate change. I'm going to hand over to George now, and uh, we're going to have a couple of questions. George, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is George Nadewa, and I'm a climate warrior from Fiji. I work in the area of youth development uh, back in the islands and uh, I'm also the 350 Fiji coordinator. Thanks George. Um, could I ask you, Daphne, why have you taken the decision you've taken to act on climate change? What reasons are there? I've taken this decision because I want to see our youth and our younger generation have a better life on our homeland and everywhere else in the Pacific to have what we have now and not get to their time and there's, there's not a better place for them on their homeland. And it is important also because climate change is affecting, climate change is affecting our homeland not only for Niue, but for the other small Pacific Island nations that surround us. Thank you, Daphne. And George, if I could just ask you, um, there's been quite a strong move in Australia to raise awareness of where large companies, uh, banks, superannuation funds are investing their money. Um, do you believe this is an important action to take in terms of easing the pressures of climate change? I believe it is um, it's an important issue because uh, divestment in terms of um, the fossil fuel industry uh, creates uh, livelihood and gives us ample time to live on the island um, and, and secure our, our identity. Um, and in terms of divestment, it gives opportunity as well for this uh, super fund uh, banks and companies to actually invest in renewable energy. And, um, and, 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 in, and in simple terms, it just keeps our islands above water. Oh, that's a terrific sentiment to have, George. Um, you'll be pleased to hear that recently the Anglican Diocese of Perth has divested all its investment funds away from fossil fuels. Um, I think that's wonderful and you may have also heard that the Australian National University uh, against um, all the odds has also divested its funds away from fossil fuels. So I think the, the momentum is starting to build in Australia and I'm so pleased you guys are here to help push that action along. But finally, I'd just like to ask um, uh, Daphne one last question. Daphne, what is the next action that is planned for the climate warriors? The next action will be, as the climate warriors, we will return back to our homeland and mobilize ourselves and see what the next action will be for the climate warriors to plan ahead and see what needs being done. Hmm? Well, thank you both very much for taking the time out to be interviewed today. I hope you really enjoy your stay in Perth and I'm looking forward to your presentation this evening at the Fremantle Town Hall. Thank you both very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.